Scene 3, as an election official, I'll talk to a candidate about Seals and locks Checking before ballots go into storage Knowing when scanned ballots are reliable I am a candidate When you check elections, what do you check against? What's truth? We check against the sealed boxes of paper ballots, from lock storage. Have you seen the YouTubes about lock picking, children bypassing seals, and Russians hacking security cameras? Well, at least foreigners can't break in from abroad. Could local crooks sneak in? For foreigners, or for their own purposes? We make people sign in and out. I appreciate you have a good sign-in system. If crooks sneak in, they won't sign in. You're right. We use the best security we can, and no security is perfect. Our country has a long history of people changing ballots when they're in storage. No one here would mess with the stored ballots. I trust you and me. I'm not sure about everyone else. I appreciate your trust. You told a voter that election machines make electronic scans of all ballots. Can you compare these scans to the ballots, before ballots go into storage, to be sure the scans are accurate? Yes. Verified Voting says it's ideal to use ballots to check election records the same day we get the ballots. Until ballots go into storage, volunteers from my campaign and my opponent's campaigns are watching, so no one can mess with the ballots. If we can scan ballots, and check scans, throughout early voting, it spreads out the workload. I like spreading out the workload. For election day ballots, we'll need extra time or extra people. That's better than squeezing all our checks between election day and certification. I like having a lot of the data checked before you release results on election night. If we hand check one in a thousand ballots, or one in a hundred, we're checking as many as a risk-limiting audit. So you can check paper ballots to see if the ballots were scanned right. How do you make sure those scans don't get hacked later? When we create each electronic file, it has a unique hash value, which reflects the file contents. It's like a digital signature. So if someone changes the file, would the hash value change? Yes. When we create each file, we can give its hash value to the press, parties, candidates, and the public. So the press, and candidates like me, can keep those original hash values. Later on, if a file has the same hash value, does that mean it's a good copy? Yes. The hash values tell us if electronic files stay the same or change. There's no similar way to detect changes in paper files. Do say, vote on paper ballots. Don't say, which are the best YouTubes on lock picking? Scene 4, as an election official, I'll talk to a software company about audit software. Checking if audit software works right. I run a software company. Let me ask this. If errors or hackers changed the election winners, would the risk limiting audit tell us? Yes. We use state of the art open source software. And the audit software can't be hacked when it's running? If the audit software is hacked, someone would notice. Can we check? Not directly. In our risk limiting audits, people type the results, at each step of the audit, directly into the software, 
and there's no independent record, if the software has errors or hacks. Can people watch the audit and see everything? Usually in these audits, the public cannot see the ballots or what's being typed. And in many places you cannot see the cast vote records which are the basis of the audit. So who would notice if the audit software is hacked, to hide errors in the election? For these audits which don't have paper records, the only checks come from people who have copies of the scanned ballots, and check them. Do say, we trust our elected officials. Don't say, don't sweat the small stuff. Scene 5, as an election official, I'll talk to a local elected official about whether public data can be misused. Telling truth from fiction. Why states don't check elections more? I'm a local elected official. If the parties or the public get copies of scan ballots to count, can they cause trouble by reporting false counts? People already can, and do, lie. Public copies let us prove it's a lie. How will you prove who's lying? When challengers take evidence to court, the court needs to tell them to post online their subtotals for each precinct. So they have to show where they found mistakes. Yes. And in the precinct with the biggest difference from official totals, challengers need to show tallies and scans of all ballots. Then the public and court can check if their scans and tallies are accurate. If that checks out, it sounds like they have an honest case. Winner and loser then will check enough other precincts to see whose totals are right. If they don't present information to court, they need to be condemned. Would it save confusion if you don't let anyone check? Sounds like an invitation to crooks to pick some elected officials, and no one will check. Just let officials check. Okay. Give them the budget. However, even if you ask officials, they probably don't trust the skill and honesty of every other official nationwide. Like any group, 99% are great. Big counties have hundreds of officials. Some of them have enough access to create mistakes in official reports, which we need to catch. Yes, we need to let the public check our work. I have a question for you. For decades, experts have warned about the risk of errors in election results, and the benefits of checking. Why haven't legislatures adopted more thorough checks? Elected officials have been elected under the current system. So they think it works pretty well. After all, the system elected them, and it elected many other members of their party. I guess any doubts aren't a priority to election winners. In each election, some losers may doubt results. Most winners trust the results. Winners are in charge after every election. So getting better ways to check election results would be a low priority for them. There's also a taboo among candidates and reporters. Don't discourage confidence in voting. That used to work when very few people questioned the results. Now, people have already lost confidence. The Pew Research Center found that only 13% of Republicans and 4% of Democrats were very confident that election systems are secure from hacking and other technological threats. So we need evidence to re-establish confidence. Democratic systems depend on people voting and seeing that the count is accurate. Do say, sunlight is the best disinfectant. Don't say, security by obscurity. Remember, why check election results? To catch and correct mistakes. To protect elections from false charges. How can we check election results? Public can go watch all steps. Release scanned ballots, to parties and the public. Join a group in your state.
A list of groups working for better elections is at votewell.net.